All right, Sizzle, you're alive. There's no one building on yet. Just please keep going about. No one, okay. No one's on here yet. Okay. <laughs> so you like called me over. I'll talk. Or... I know, I know. I thought... okay. Hello. Yep. Um, what's, what's... Um, you know what? I'm gonna hey guys. Boat back. Okay. We are. We just got off the boat, catching topping, and so our connection is. Probably... I'm gonna go back up. Okay. Hey guys, I'm sorry. We just, uh, we want to keep to our eight o'clock schedule, but we just got back from fishing, tarpon fishing. Tar Darcy had a tarpon on from like seven to eight o two. We just got back, just getting off the boat right here. So um, bear with us. Uh, so <laughs> we want to stay on schedule. We're not frozen. We're it's eighty degrees. But I happen to answer some questions. And we're going to get moving here. Wait a couple more people join up. We're about to hit 3K. Good for you. Congratulations. What And we're starting right now. Start. Can you guys see me? Are you going to hear me? How you guys doing? Tell me how, to, tell me how the volume is. Poor connection. Yeah. I apologize for the poor connection. We may have to stop and come back. Hey guys, can you guys hear me? Let me know how the audio is. Can you hear me? Let me know. Hello. Let me know if you can hear me. It's a really bad connection. You gotta get out here. Holy crap. I'll go get the right car, there. I guess. Right there. Can you guys hear me yet? You got a really bad connection. I think he's going to back down his car. So. Oh, well, I'll get my truck. I know. Just watch. It's good. Thank you. Again, like I was saying, uh, we just got off the boat. We're still unloading. Uh, there's Darcy. We went tarpon fishing in, in southwest Florida today. The connection is absolutely terrible. Thank you. Uh, you're a big fan. We we're going to talk about knots, but um, you know we just get off the boat. <laughs> so I'll tell you a little bit about. I mean, I don't, there you go. Sizzle, tell, I mean, Sizzle, tell them about your topping today. Hang on. Get... Rods off, right? Yeah. You got to do that, and I can talk. <coughs> 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 Sorry. <coughs> I hooked my first tarpon ever today. And that was totally awesome. It was probably between 80 and 100 pounds approximately. Totally, totally awesome. Casted out the bait in front of him. Saw him roll real nice. He was all happy. Casted out the bait. Try to get a bit of light on you. Just kind of twitched, okay. twitched right in front of him. And he just ate that bait. And he kept running. So I just kept reeling and set the hook on him. And he did like six or seven jumps. It was awesome. Fought him for about 20, 30 minutes. And at the very end, he did another jump. And when he jumped, he kind of landed on my line, and I heard the braid, the, the knot snap. So there's nothing you could do about that, but it was an epic fish. And we are fishing See, the with, lighting sucks. Yeah, it the lighting does suck. It's getting dark out. That's not, that's not no, 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 it wasn't the knot. It's it's not. It was the actual 25-pound braid, the main line, that snapped. And, like, it sounded like a knot breaking, but it was it was actually the line just, oh, the light just went out, too. Oh, and the light went out. Yeah. But I thought to go with the light. You have really bad light, guys. Is that better? Oh, you guys want to go over by the truck over there? Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, there's a light over there. All right, we're going to move to a little bit better light. And <clears throat> for you guys <clears throat> just showing up now, I a little bit apologize, but you know, we want to start this at 8 o'clock and keep on schedule. But again, we were fishing up until two minutes ago. So we're at, like at a marina in Southwest Florida, with Captain Kyle trying to catch we've been fishing uh, just till just now <laughs> so that kind of threw the seminar off but again you know we wanted to we want to keep on schedule so here we are uh, I'm carrying all this stuff Ooh, look at that light Ugh. all right I'm gonna try and answer some questions before Darcy un unloads the boat What's going on? We're in Southwest Florida. We've been tarpon fishing, and so that's why it's so late right now, and why we're not totally like 
in in the roll or prepared for this. Uh, whew, I'm out of breath too. Carrying stuff, I'm getting off the boat. So anyway, so we're fishing in Southwest Florida. Darcy caught a tarpon. We don't know when we're coming to Cali. Can't see you. I'm right here. Yeah, there guys. she is. Hey, sorry it's a little dark. We are still loading up the boat. He's actually uh, Captain Kyle's putting his boat on his trailer right now, and uh, just taking off the rest of stuff off the boat. But it's very dark. It's yeah, as you can see, you know, it's basically the sun is going down, so it's very dark. We apologize. We plan to be live at eight o'clock, so we're live. Um, we know where to look. <laughs> so <laughs> yell that. So we're live, and um, you know, it is what it is at this point. We're fishing, so we apologize, but at least we're live and doing our scheduled video for you guys. And um, yeah, I hooked that tarpon. It was. So awesome. Can't wait for you guys to see the video. We got some epic shots of this fish jumping all over the place, just going nuts. And I really put a hurting on him, tried to. And um, at the very end, like 30 minutes into the fight, he like had this extra energy and just like did two massive jumps at the end. And the last jump, he kind of just landed on the braid and it was 25 pound mainline, up, um, mainline braid. And he just landed on it, you heard it snap. And that was that. There was nothing you could do about that, but it was an awesome fish. And um, yeah, so we're just wrapping it up. We're bringing all our stuff off the boat. Got to put our stuff in the truck. But I'm totally, totally happy, stoked. Waited all day for that fish. And you know, that's what fishing's all about. So yeah, I guess we're not going to do the, the hook thing, right? No, we were going to do a thing about like what knots, you know, how to, about knots. We're not going to really do what about tying knots, but let me yeah. give you the lowdown on the knots. You go, to, you go to animatednots.com and netknots.com. They got all your knot information. But, uh, you know, we use a lot of uni knots. We got a video on that. Yep. Um, again, we're at a marina, so the seminar is kind of out the window. We'll do that next time. Yeah, we're going to unfortunately have to do an official seminar for you guys on our next uh, live feed. Maybe right. we could even do that before next like Wednesday. Yeah, he has all his stuff in the boat over there. Okay, we we'll grab um, this stuff. Well, you take that. Okay. <laughs> Answer some questions. <laughs> all right. Woo! All right, sorry, I look, so apparently I look a mess because I've been fishing all day, but that's what you get, a real fisher girl. So we're walking over to the boat and we're gonna get our stuff out. I think Brian's gotta go get the truck. But um, hi from Australia, Peter. Hello from Wisconsin, Larry. Hello from Florida. I'm actually in Southwest Florida right now in the Everglades, Florida Everglades. So uh, let's see. Oh, da, 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 da. I'm looking for some comments. Blah, blah, blah. FG not. What's that? So I guess I better go get my truck. Yeah. Yep. We're just loading up. We've got all our stuff on the boat the here. Okay. So we're just getting all our stuff off the boat. The <clears throat> Okay. But thank you guys for tuning in. Once again, sorry we're not doing our seminar seminar tonight. What's that? Introduce Captain Kyle. What? Introduce Captain Kyle. Okay. Sorry, we're not. Sorry, Brian keeps like talking to me and like messing me up over here. But um, uh, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry we're not doing our seminar tonight. We're just very busy, uh, just coming off the boat as you can see, and just packing up. And we have kind of like a poor connection where we are, where where we are at, and you know in the Florida Everglades here, it's very poor connection. So I apologize. Um, but we'll be doing our seminar in proper lighting and proper conditions very soon. Hopefully next week or maybe sooner. We'll see. But we'll be doing a seminar about hooks. So, um, oh yeah, how was the boat show, Rick, Rick is asking. And yeah, the, Palm, the West Palm Beach International Boat Show was awesome. I worked there all four days. And I always like, like working that boat show. It was very nice and just, it's fun. It's a fun atmosphere. Sold a lot of sunglasses, Salt Life Optics. I was at the Salt Life Optics booth in the main entrance. So thanks to all of you guys for stopping by. A lot of fans stopped by. A lot of you guys said hello, came out, took a picture. That was awesome. Talked about fishing. You guys are the best fans ever. Ever. So it was totally epic. The boat show went really well. Um, let's see. Hi, my friend. Hi, Yon. How are you? <laughs> out, out here fishing. I got a tarpon today. Totally stoked. Officially, well, he actually broke the line, but I technically did land this tarpon. I got the leader to the end of the rod. So that technically in a tarpon tournament is a legal catch. So I did catch a tarpon, but I just don't have a picture with him. But that's okay. That's fishing. 
And thank you so much, David. Thank you so much. I'm really stoked about that fish. And uh, can't wait for you guys to see this video. It is epic. The sun is going down. And you can see this fish is just pulling the boat. He's on the top of the surface. His fins are coming out of the water. And he's just creating this serious wake. It's just such a pretty sight to see. And Brian got some amazing, amazing footage for you guys to watch. So I can't wait to share it with you guys. Um, Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. But we're going again fishing all day tomorrow. So I'm stoked for that. Hopefully get on some more fish. There's some really big snook here. There's some really big redfish, big trout. I must have saw 50 to 100 tarpon today. Tarpon everywhere. Big tarpon too. Um, so this is just like fishing heaven here in the Florida Everglades. It's awesome. Um, what's for dinner tonight? I actually don't know what's for dinner tonight. No, tarpon is not edible. Um, we don't we don't eat tarpon. Um, tarpon is strictly catch and release. So when we catch these big fish, they are highly protected species. So you don't even take them out of the water. You're not allowed to take them out of the water. You keep them in the water at all times. You release them and then you let them go. Um, it's kind of just like Goliath grouper. The Goliath grouper are protected as well. So you keep big fish in the water. What? Um, I just want to make sure all my stuff's off the boat, so when you take it back when you're done. I just want to double check. Tarpon is very edible, but it's catch and release. Okay. Yeah, we're not talking about tarpon being edible. That's very, very illegal. You don't do that. And I respect the fish, so I'm, you don't eat a tarpon, guys. Do not do that. It's a bad, big no-no. I highly don't recommend it. You don't do that. Um, this is a, like an epic, just one of these trophy fish that, like, I highly respect and they're all over the place and they get enough pressure as it is from all the people that fish for them year round. So, you know, just catching one and hooking one is like really epic. I mean, I, I, there's a lot of times where tarpon, you know, will bite your bait or whatever and then they'll spit the hook right away. So a lot of things can go wrong and um, everything went right on this fish and I just casted it out and, you know, was retrieving it really slow and then did a little twitch twitch and saw the fish just pounce on it and then just took off jumping. He took some serious air. But yeah, so I want to show you who I was fishing with today. I was fishing with Captain Kyle and he is from, oh it says Poor Connection right now so I apologize. Um, but I'm fishing with Captain Kyle and he is with Tarpon, Jay's, Tarpon Day's Charters here in Southwest Florida. So you guys can check him out if you're interested in fishing with him. But he is the man. He knows what these fish are doing. He's actually a fly fishing, uh, fly fishing expert. So if you guys are into fly fishing, he's your guy. Say hello. <laughs> hello, world. <laughs> That's Kyle. So he put us on, put me on the fish today. So that was awesome. And um, yeah, we're just packing up the boat. He's got a nice little uh, flats boat here. It's a, leave the rods? It's a dolphin no, it's a, skiff. Dolphin. Leave the rods yeah, this is a dolphin super skiff. Dolphin super skiff is this boat. It's a 1984 model, I believe. So it's really unique and different. It's really cool. That's a platform up front. Just showing you guys different stuff. We're going to fish um, out of the skinny boat tomorrow. <laughs> that's the gnu? No, no, we're going to fish out of my other skiff that's over oh, there. Oh, okay. What kind of skiff is that? It's a dolphin renegade. This is a nine inch boat, that's a four inch boat. So Whoa. Yeah. Make so it a little skinny. We're going to be in some skinny water tomorrow in a skinny boat. So he's got another little dolphin uh, super. Dolphin renegade. Dolphin renegade, sorry. Dolphin renegade. So we're going to be fishing in his other boat tomorrow. Okay. So I'm just totally stoked. Like I'm going to give this back to Brian and I'm gonna just going to double check and make sure all my stuff's off the boat. Did you miss me? I was having almonds. Look at all the fly rods. Whoa. <laughs> Holy crap. He's loaded with fly rods. Oh, that's a light day. Look at all these fly rods. <laughs> that's awesome. Wow. Pretty. Yeah, that's that's a, that's just getting ready. That's awesome. <laughs> that's a lot. It's heavy. I told you guys Kyle is a serious fly fisherman. He really knows his stuff when it comes to fly fishing. So if any of you guys want to go with a fly fishing expert, he's your guy. And um, yeah, and he was totally confident the whole entire trip. Well, I was going to catch a tarpon today. And I was optimistic because, you know, it's fishing. You know, It's not called catching. But I had a couple hits on a tarpon earlier in the day. I had one like take the bait real quick and then spit right away and then uh, we just kept moving kept going to different spots where the current was Walking running where the tide boat. was going uh, the boat's good 
right. um, where you know what the tide was doing and the current was doing and just moving constantly going back to different spots where we saw a lot of fish there was other times we'd go to a flat and the water was a little too high or it was a little too low he didn't like it so we left but we did he did everything in his power to just get on those fish where they were moving and where they were happy and a lot of times where you see tarpon are rolling real slow like that means they're like very happy and just eating and you know just very happy so we had a bunch of fish rolling in the morning at one spot we tried and I didn't have much luck there I must have saw like 50 fish in 30 minutes and then um, at the end of the day as the sun was going down we knew we had this live stream so we we're gonna try one more spot and that one more spot did the trick and within 10 minutes of being there I got a bite but the fish kind of didn't even get hooked he just kind of bit and then spit the hook and then um, after that two minutes later hooked into an 80 to 100 pound tarpon tried a different so retrieve too. right and i also tried a different retrieve which i'll explain in the video too but basically